Here I'm going to remove the hard drive out of my Western Digital Elements and put it into this eSATA external enclosure. The reason I'm doing this is because this one is USB 2.0 and eSATA should be a lot faster. I wanted to get the USB 3.0 but the eSATA version was on sale so I bought this one instead. Now if you have an SE or USB 3.0 those are native USB so you can't use them with SATA external enclosures. First remove the cover. The cover is a side with these rubber legs and you, you have to remove some tabs around the edges. Now I've got a screwdriver and this non-scratch pry tool which will hopefully help me avoid damaging the plastic. So the first one is around right here. I'm going to pry this open with the screwdriver just to get some clearance. And now that I've got that in, I'm going to use this pry tool to help avoid scratching up the plastic. Obviously you don't want to have your metal screwdriver go gouging into this, otherwise there's a possibility you could damage the hard drive. Here's some more detail of the location of the clips. So the first one is right around here opposite the plug, and the other ones are two here, two here, and then some more there. Okay, I started to pry this up using this plastic pry tool, and it just comes out straight like this. There are these rubber keepers which help isolate the hard drive. I'm just going to remove those. And here's the plastic enclosure as you can see. There's really nothing holding it in. I'm going to set this aside. This is just the plastic enclosure. And then take a look at this hard drive. This one is a 2 terabyte model. It's actually a pretty good one. It says Western Digital Caviar Black, 64 megabit cache. So this is a nice one. Uh, now I'm going to have to remove this adapter. I'm going to take a screwdriver and very carefully remove these mounting screws. And it should just pull out. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And of course, you can reuse this with another hard drive if you wish. Here's my external drive. Now I actually ran into a small problem when test fitting the hard drive. These tabs were about a millimeter or two too high to fit in here and to be aligned with the screw holes on the side. So I just bent them back a little bit. Now it sits fine. Here's my hard drive. I'm going to gently insert it in here. Make sure the uh, SATA connector is lined up. And now it's plugged in. Now that I bent those tabs back, the screw holes are all aligned, so I'm going to tighten it down. You could even cut off those tabs, it really wouldn't matter because uh, you're going to just hold it in place with these screws. And it's best to turn the screw one turn loose so that you can kind of feel the threads before tightening it up to make sure that you're not cross-threading the threads. And also, I like to put in all four screws before tightening them down so that you know that none of them are being under stress. In other words, it helps reduce the chance of cross-threading. And from here it should be pretty self-explanatory. And here's the finished product. It's got the power for the uh, hard drive and fan on one end. This is a size comparison to the Western Digital Elements enclosure. And of course when you're done with the swap, you can always reuse or sell this enclosure.